This is probably my least favorite subject yet. This is one thing that I don't do. Uh, getting out, ready to go out. I'm just not a guy to do those kind of things, to shop, something like that, because you have online shopping now. And I don't love and I don't like crowded places like that in general, so um yeah, this list is not gonna be for me, but it is requested by Music Fan 993, so um I'm gonna give it a chance. The thumbnail is major laser. Oh boy, do I love some major laser. Um, yeah, and there's also a sequel to this list. Uh, I think I'm not gonna enjoy that as well, but maybe. Yeah, uh, first let's see how the first one is, and yeah, let's just get it over with. Probably gonna be really shitty. Probably all mainstream shit. Mm. That's alright. Literally the worst shit out ever or yet. Let's get it started. Number ten. This is how we do it. Montel Jordan. Rap shit. Yeah, it's that. Basically, one guy that repeats the title track over and over again and calls it hip hop. Sure. Whatever. This song gets you off the couch, ready to party. I believe he's a one hit wonder as well because this is his only song I've ever heard and it's pretty repetitive. First of all, you can't go wrong with a Friday night reference and Montel Jordan's silky smooth vocals always get the masses all revved up and hot, especially with the brilliant home I don't. Miss Mojo, sick, sure, sure. <laughs> she didn't just say Beast Mode, did she? Fucking hell. She has no idea what she's talking about. She just gets a line of. She just gets some fucking piece of paper in front of her face, shoved into her face, and the people at Watch Mojo say, Say this shit or you will be fired. It's beast mode, it's lit as fuck. Yeah, really inaccurate, uh, really dumb lines by Miss Mojo again. Not as stupid as the um, as the Britney Spears line, that, that is definitely the worst yet. If you haven't seen that one, yeah, don't, it's fucking horrible. Uh, Beyonce. Yeah, she just fucking said her own name. No, I believe Beyonce was in that girl group, but I really don't give a fuck. Uh, so the opening riff of this DC classic just may remind you of the 80s hit Edge of 17. And there's classic, sure. Well, let's forget about it, get our Stevie Nicks on, and just remember that Bootylicious is a legit millennial booty bouncer, complete with some teasing opening vocals from Beyonce and company. Stevie Nicks, what the fuck? It's a disgrace to use her name in the sentence of the shitty song, but besides that. There's a whole lot going on here. From the lyrical style to the persistent guitar to the unforgettable line of I don't think you're To the horrible green screen fucking music video. Yeah, great, right? My body is too bodilicious. Fucking uh, bootylicious, whatever. Those are real words, whatever. I don't, I don't think I want to ever hear this again. I'm sure about that. Fucking gross. Number eight, party up, DMX. Basically, one guy that just just yells and yells and yells throughout the entire song and calls it a musical career. That is DMX for you. We love DMX, but <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> oh, Miss Fucking Mojo. 
everything they can say wrong, they say wrong. We don't love DMX. Nobody loves that guy. And if you love him, I'm pretty sure um, you're mentally ill. Yeah, I just did go there. No, he just repeats the chorus over and over again. That is what that is what he does. Even his biggest hit like this, it is catchy, sure, but it is just repetitive as hell. And that is his entire career. But of course, it's only X talking, and us listening while bobbing. I mean, what does DMX even mean? Just three random letters. Delivers all those classic DMX ad libs, capturing our very thoughts. I can barely hear what he's saying because of the shitty beat, man. And just the shitty raps in general. How, how can you understand what he's saying, man? In other words, DMX is the grandmaster of this party, and his vocals never fail to get you but wild. <laughs> Miss Mojo, fuck you. I fucking hate this channel. And Watch Mojo is bad as well, don't get me wrong, but Miss Mojo just says the stupidest fucking things ever. And the other channel, Watch Mojo, they are fucking uh, predictable and boring and stuff like that. But at least they don't say ridiculous shit like this. Like, DMX is the Grandmaster. Well, I mean, I mean who, who the fuck says that? Only fucking Miss Mojo. Hey, good song. Get lucky, Daft Punk featuring Pharrell Williams. I recently bought the entire um, Random Access Memories record. I actually have it there. Perhaps you like to pregame with a glass of wine in hand. Getting the heart rate up with some sweet beats. Fuck wine. Right there record. with you, especially with Daft Punk's Get Lucky as a musical backdrop. Now, there was a lot of effort, but. Yeah, good record. Actually, uh, Black Queen requested the entire Def Punk discography, and I've done all the records if you want to know my opinion about them. And this is definitely a, a highlight in their career, their newest one. It is amazing. But Get Lucky is for the basic bitches out there. Yeah, you have to listen to, um, to Touch and Contact and. Uh, and uh, Giorgio, Giorgio Mordor, great tracks, man. Do, those are the real gems on the on the record. Uh, Get Lucky and Lose Yourself to Dance is for the basic bitches out there. Like Miss Mojo. There's so many, there's so many great tracks on that record. You pick the most basic one. It is a good song, but it is just so overshadowing. It overshadows the entire record. And showing off that one two step. It's a mid tempo modern classic, and Get Lucky always gets people in the mood to freak the hell out. No. It, it is just a relaxing song to dance to. It doesn't freak people out. <sighs> Stupid bitch. Number six. Uh, dancing on Robin. my own. Robin. Never heard of her. It sounds pretty shit. Sure. Just everything Miss Mojo fires at me is just utterly shit. This is somewhat of an emo dance track with all the references to creeping in the corner. Oh, don't, so don't go there. Don't go the emo way, man. Then fucking dance. Don't be, so di don't be so difficult about it. <sighs> the black eye fucking diarrhea. I, I had a name for them, but I forgot. Black eye auto tunes, whatever. They're guaranteed utterly shit, that's right. Who is a sellout as well? Two sellouts for the price for one. 
What a good time to be alive, right? Today we get Anna Black Eyed Peas. Fucking horrible artist. Artist. I get really depressed from this music. Why do you reference that? Why? Rihanna. Please don't stop the music. Rihanna. That's voice, that everything. In your face. Today we know that Rihanna's got a few things working for her. And back when she Rihanna is the prime example for just riding on uh, coattails from producers' rides because she can't she can ride for shit. So she basically has everyone who gives her songs and not albums because uh, lazy, she doesn't write her own music, and it just gets worse and worse every year. It, it wasn't good to begin with, but now when you hear stuff from now, it is unlis unlistenable. That work, work, work song, that is literally a joke, that is not a song. Please don't stop the music, let everybody know what's up. That is the prime definition of a, a song that, um, that's, that doesn't involve any work just saying work over again horrible beat horrible vocals and this song isn't any good your hair is looking fine your makeup is game ready and now you're looking in the mirror and thinking damn look at me while rihanna serves as the soundtrack to your moment of glory Already a good night. No, Major Laser. Lean on. Major Laser and DJ Snake featuring me. <laughs> Best name ever featuring me. Best name, definitely. Oh, fucking. It only makes sense to have a pre game anthem. Just, just if you if you have um, if you have yourself, you're just artists in general, and then two featured artists. That is already saying that you're fucking horrible. Something young, wild, and free, and this here is that kind of track. Featuring American electronic group Major Laser, the French electro wizard that is DJ Snake and Danish singer Mur on vocals. Lean On has an expansive musical aesthetic with one hell of a catchy hook. Oh, we needed somebody to lean on. Horrible song. This is your bob and weave track. No. With a little something extra to put an extra hop in your step. With all of those older classics on your party playlist, you need some of that new school too. Not if it sounds like this. Nah, this song is 50-50 for me. It isn't horrible, but get you uh, it gets you it's just like, decent, I guess. Really it's a bit generic. Crazy it's really overrated. I mean, it's just an alright throwback song to the 80s or something like that. And it has 2 billion views or something like that. In fact, you might even blast Uptown Funk at work on a Friday evening before you take off. You play it in your car on the way home, and Uptown Funk might just be even more than just a track for those special occasions. Don't believe me, just right. Don't believe me, just right. Who knows? You might even just chill out in the tub and take in a little extra Uptown Funk as well. And why not? There's no such thing as too much Uptown Funk. It is alright, but it's just really repetitive. Not his best song by far. Good, oh, good vibrations by a bunch of fucking people. I'm not gonna name because there's so many of them. Uh, so f I fucking hate that song. Uh, Just Dance by Lady Gaga featuring Colby O'Donnell. It's alright. But good vibrations is so fucking generic. It's not even funny. 
Dance 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 from Lick Lee. Mm, not really, because it sounds really avant-garde, so it, it, it is interesting for me, but not to get out or something, that's a bit weird. Uh, Dynamite, oh, oh uh, the last song, uh, Paper Planes from Mia, the pff, whatever. Uh, Dynamite from Tyre Cruz. <sighs> so outdated. Not sure. Michael Jackson. First actual good song is the number one song. Go figure. You know that you love it and you know that you need it. You can never go wrong with some MJ before going out. And if you really want to get serious, like don't I ruin said, this, please. Actually a good pick. Don't fucking ruin it. With your uh, with your fucking talking. It's really toxic though, but uh, not the song but her talking. It is fucking horrible. It's beautiful late seventies disco anthem. <laughs> Arguably his best record. This year is pre-thriller MJ people and you can feel it. You can feel that funk. Oh, that's so that's so good. This is uptown funk before there was uptown funk. And with the whole MJ thing. Don't on, mention that song. Oh fuck you know, off man. The screen, it's a timeless pre -game that that song doesn't even touch Michael Jackson's entire career. Fuck off bitch. Only she can mention that. Fucking hell. So do you agree with our Don't class? mention that modern generic... Uh, it's not shit, but... Just medi mediocrity to... That classic masterpiece. Please don't. Don't do that ever again. Let's... Those female vocals are so fucking cringe, and the rapping, is it worse? Uh, arguably. Rihanna is so fucking bad. Yeah, the list was horrible, uh, really hated it. I, yeah, only the number one spot was really good, so they're probably gonna do that again. All modern shit and then the number one spot actually being a classic. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do the second one as well. Not excited for it, but it is requested, so there we are. I hope you have enjoyed it. I didn't, but let me know what are your favorite songs to go out to. Don't have one because it don't really go out, but there we are. Hope you have enjoyed it and enjoy, yeah, enjoy. Peace out and yeah, this list was utterly shit, but well, maybe you enjoy it and that is what matters on the end of the day. But seriously, it was fucking crap.